great weekend. I'm going to have to do my June 2013 severance videos because my phone has cut me off right at 15 minutes. I, I don't know why. It might be because of the memory on it. So I may be doing this in two parts. So I'm going to do the, the nails and the eyes first in this video, and then I'll come back and do the rest of it. So I'm still starting to do this, but I'm determined to get this video done for you guys, and I'm going to record my other videos. I hope I get my laptop back <laughs> soon. Anyway, let me go ahead and get started. Um, the eyeshadows I have been loving this month, of course, has to be the MUA uh, Dust to Dawn palette. It looks like this. Heather Purple, I mean, because it's the sweetness that sent this to us. I wanted to purchase the one she sent, Little Chica Bonita. Well, I love the colors in that one, too. I'm going to see if I can order that soon. But these colors are outstanding. Um, I use a lot of these two and a lot of these three. And the other colors I'm still working with. And I love this palette. They're very blendable, very long-wearing, don't crease on me whatsoever. And at first I was a little confused with what kind of look I was going to create with it, and then I played around with it and went, ooh. So thank you, Heather. I love, love, love this palette. Love it so much. So thank you so much. Little bit dramatic. <laughs> the other one is the Next Wicked Dreams palette. I know I just bought this a couple weeks ago at Ulta, but I absolutely love this palette. My husband laughed when I told him that if we ever go to his sister's house again, uh, Shawnee, uh, to spend the night. I'm actually going to just take this palette and he went, right. I know you. But, you know, really, it's got a mix of different colors. It's $14.99. And it's got both matte and shimmery colors. And it's got a lot of colors that I would like to wear, such as that light blue one and that turquoise one. But a lot of them I will definitely be sporting. I'm just going to play around with some of the other colors in there. But considering that, that their bigger win runway palettes, for like 10 bucks, this is 14.99 to get 24. That's an awesome palette. So I'm gonna be looking around YouTube thing on. Uh, I'm gonna find more tutorials on it to help me um, come up with more looks. Not to do here, but you know, just to wear. So I totally love that. The other one from Next Minute Loving has been my Dark Shadows palette. I rediscovered this, broke this bad boy off. Brighter colors on top are awesome, but I've concentrated more on the neutral colors, and I love the way they, they blend, they, they're soft, and they're pretty. There's just all the colors I've been into a lot lately, a lot lately. And then the blushes are awesome, too. I finally got around to using the blushes, and this is just an all-around great color. I think I paid, like, $25 for this. Uh, look around, there's little dark shadows uh, next, my next palette. This had the HD primer eyeshadow base in it, and it was really, really awesome. Love that. I think a lot of us did, too. And I started off just using that blush, and then I managed to get to this one, and then I blended these two together, and then I wore this one, the highlight. They're really, really awesome blushes. So if you happen to see this, grab it. Really good eyeshadows. Okay. I'm putting these up as I go. Change up my man and George and really that. Okay. Mute on me. Anyway, uh, well, let's go with eyes. The NYC Big Bowl mascara. I love this. This has a really good formula. Uh, out of my mascara, the Jordano's number one. This is number two. This is like 442. I know the wand is scary, but a lot of our favorite mascaras have big scary wands. Uh, you actually need an eye makeup remover because it lasts all day. It doesn't flake on me, which is a big plus, and it didn't irritate my eyes. I didn't know if it would or not. I wanted to try the Essence one, but I had to get that one. I'm going to wait a little while before I get that because I bought that Michelin one. And I love, love this mascara, along with the Sky Rise mascara. If you go back and check out my uh, first impressions from NYC Maybelline, um, my friend Lorraine Beauty Make a more put the Clinique one that she was raving about. That's like twenty bucks. I'm thinking about splurging on. This is an awesome, I think, bottom lash mascara. Same thing. Lasts all day. Doesn't irritate my eyes, and it doesn't smudge off. And of course, I get the blackest black on all of these. So, highly recommend these two mascaras. Way to go, and want to see you guys did a great job. Going back to eyeshadows, I jumped on the Elf Bam, and I got all of them now. These are just four of the ones, like four of the six ones. First of all, I want to mention LA Colors uh, Rediscovered product. This is in beige, the mineral eyeshadow. Uh, this is before they split them. I think you can find them like this exactly at Dollar 
country. I have been loving this for my brow highlight. I'll apply it right here, and then I'll just blend it out just a little bit. And I was looking for the backup to this. Okay, I was using this and then lost it, grabbed the backup one because I really want to use it, and now I found this is at the back of my vanity door. I couldn't get it out, but I got it out. Love this. And along with it, I've been using, um, I had Enchanted just the other day. My favorite out of all these, I love all of them, but the favorite look I've been using has been Burnt Plum on the lid. You can either use, um, you can either do, I, one day I did toasted in the crease, another day I did without it, and just used bark into the crease area and on the outer V, which I did it with having, I don't know if that makes sense. This is another favorite, and I'm not with the LA Colors one on our show color. I have all of them now. I highly recommend you try them out. Charlene, um, I think 465 said you got to wear them. Um, dry or I mean wet. So I'm gonna try those, but you can't wait to try. She said it looks so pretty, and I bet it does because um, I use my um, homemade stuff to make an eyeliner with one of them, and it looks really pretty. So I'm like, Ooh. okay. Let me go ahead and go on to nails. The Dury uh, Rejuvenate Coat. So far, I'm loving this. I felt like my nails have gotten stronger since I started this. I'm gonna put another coat on it of it on my nails. Uh, usually by the second day of having nail polish, half of it's already come off my nails. Uh, the nails shift just a little bit, but that's because I didn't put my this one on last time. I forgot to. I thought I did, but it didn't. Um, and I feel like my nails are getting stronger because of this and another product I'm going to show you. This is $7.88 on Amazon.com. They don't charge the shipping. I bought two, as you guys know. I'm going to continue to keep you updated because you saw how nasty my nails were. And now, I mean, they're better, a lot, a lot better, but this is going to help me get my nails so healthy that I will probably, I doubt I'll wear fake nails again. If I do, it'll be once in a blue moon. So, yeah, totally recommend that. The two nail flashes that I've been, well, three, is Orange Flame from Nina Ultra Pro. I think Shelly still has this. This is what I have on my nails. When it's like dim light, like, if it's dusk or dawn, this glows. It's awesome. And I, during uh, Halloween time, I like to take a uh, simple color black crackle nail polish over it. It looks really cool. This is Flip Flop Fancy from China Lady. You already know what this looks like. It's such a pretty color. Not just on the toes, but on my nails. I got a lot of great It's not like a nail polish. It's like a nail polish. I'm like, okay, this is what it is. And I'm not just literally saying that. It really did happen. You must see French white tips. This would be great if you're doing a French manicure, but also if you're looking for something to make your white nail, your bright nail polishes pop. I had Superstar from um, Pure Eyes that Jamie sent me, and I couldn't, I still can't find them. I can't get one, too. I just think somebody I used it on sold them the bottle away for you to share in the empty video. But I got this at Charge Day for 94 cents. I highly, highly recommend that nail polish. Speaking of nails, I showed you guys in a haul the Q-Tex, Q-Tex? No polish removers. Okay, I'm going to take the pink one back and exchange it for this one. I love this one. I've been an honest girl. Love their nail polish removers. But it seems like you can't find it or it's always sold out. These last two, these are like $2 a bottle. This is the one, the Advanced Revival Nail Polish Remover. Fast Action Nail Polish Remover. Okay, first of all, it's supposed to have black currants, black seed, and apricot kernel botanical oil. Strengthen and nourish your nails. That has been the other part along with this to make my nails stronger. Second of all, it is a fast acting nail polish. Remember, if you need something that's going to make your nails real healthy and fast, you know, just takes no time to pick off. I mean, I can like put this on one cotton ball and get like three or four nails off. It takes no time. I was shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, super awesome. So, it is in a green bottle and I can't tell, but that's what it is. And it's at Walmart. So, check it out. Um, let me go ahead and share with you another eye-ish problem, uh, problem. Uh, the next Wonder Pencil. This is a concealer, lip, and eyeliner. I use it for my waterline. I love this. This is way better than the um, Scandal Eyes one. I will do a separate video for you guys in the near future showing you the difference. I uh, fall, again, beauty makes me more talking about this, and I said, okay, I'm going to try it. And when I just watched it before, it looked like it was a better eye pencil. So, anyway, I'm going to stop here. Thank you for part two.
you. Yeah, I apologize. Just the way I have to record the video.